Did you know that 619 people globally struggle with lower back pain? It's the leading cause of disability affecting the daily lives of millions of people. And today I'll talk about how you can find relief and take control over your back health. So what exactly is lower back pain? Lower back pain is any discomfort or ache you feel in the lower part of your back, often between the ribs and the hips. This pain can range from a dull, constant ache to a sudden, sharp sensation that makes any kind of movement difficult. Common symptoms include stiffness in your lower back after waking up or sitting for a long time, a sudden pain when bending over or lifting or twisting, almost like your back catches. Constant dull ache on one side of your back that makes movement really uncomfortable. Pain that travels down through your hips, buttocks, and leg, often referred to as sciatica. Or tightness or cramping in your back muscles that make it difficult to stand freely. These symptoms can make daily activities harder, but don't panic. Most cases of lower back pain improve with simple lifestyle changes like staying active, daily movement, and maintaining good posture. Lower back pain can make even the simplest tasks feel daunting. It can interrupt sleep and affect how you sit at work, making most physical activities really uncomfortable. Everyday movements can serve as a constant reminder of the pain impacting both your mood and your energy levels. But here's the good news. Even though living with lower back pain can be tough, you can find relief with the right exercises. Research shows that exercise therapy can improve pain significantly and reduce disability within three months. Consistent, low impact exercises and muscle activations are key to reducing pain and improving your daily comfort. So let's just take a moment to debunk some of the common myths around lower back pain. Myth number one, lifting heavy objects is the main cause of your lower back pain. Well, here's a fact. While improper lifting can contribute to lower back pain, only 15 to 30% of cases statistically are caused by injury or lifting. And I would actually argue it's less. Poor posture, a sedentary lifestyle, obesity, and genetics play significant roles as well. Myth number two, surgery is needed to fix a back. Fact, only a small percentages of cases require surgery. Around 90% improve within six weeks with non-surgical treatments like physical therapy and of course, lifestyle modifications. Myth number three, you need an MRI or X-ray to diagnose the cause. Fact, imaging tests are not necessary for most cases. Over 85% are classified as non-specific, meaning that they're not linked to a serious condition. I will also personally add, spending that kind of money to get these images can be a waste of time and of course money. So if you're in pain, let's get to work and get you out of pain. Myth number four, you should rest when you have back pain. Fact. Prolonged rest can worsen symptoms. Movement and low impact activities help reduce pain and prevent stiffness. So now that you understand what lower back pain feels like and how to handle some of the common myths, let's talk about exercises that can help bring relief. I'm gonna guide you through some of my favorites that get me personally out of back pain, which by the way, is something that I've been dealing with for a long time and because of these muscle activation practices, I have gotten out of pain. These muscle activations are tailored specifically for easing lower back pain and to get you out of back pain. The first one is to bring your hands up here and then press your knees into your hands. Now we're gonna hold this for six seconds. We're gonna press the knees into the hands and hold it for six seconds and then bring the feet down. I'm going to repeat it six times. So let's do it again. Bring the knees up, press the knees into the hands and hold it there for about six seconds and then bring the feet down. 
So the next one that we're going to do is just one of my favorites. It's very, very simple. You're going to bring the knees up and then bring the hands behind the head. And then you're going to look up to your knees. Now, the goal isn't to see how far you can lift your chest, okay? Just kind of ease up a little bit and look to your groin. And then what you're going to do is to feel like your groin is moving towards your navel. Your groin is going to move up this way. Then take your hands and kind of now reach a little bit and then come down. And again, we'll hold that for six seconds and we'll do it six times. So bring the knees back up, bring the hands behind the head, come on up and then feel like you're pulling your groin towards your navel and then reach for your feet. And then come on down. Oh my goodness, I can feel my whole core just beautifully activating. It's just really lovely. The next one that we're going to do is just to get the general hip flexors working and activate it. One of the things that I've constantly found as a source of back pain is people's hip flexors not working properly. They're not working for a lot of reasons, by the way. One of them is that they tend to get overstretched. So we want to get those hip flexors not just activated, but also stronger. So this is one of the best techniques. Let's do the right leg first. You're going to keep the leg as straight as possible and the hand on the thigh and lift the leg up as high as you can. Now, it doesn't really matter how far it goes, okay? The goal isn't to try and bring the leg up as far as you can or, or past far, as far as you can. The goal is just to bring the leg up to wherever it comes and then just hold it there and feel like you're pulling the leg this way and then slowly come on down. Just notice how slowly I did that. And then slowly come on up. And again, feel like the leg is moving this direction. And then slowly come on down. Now, if you want to just kind of feel it a little bit more, bring your hand to the right thigh, engage the thigh. So if you want to feel it really engaged, just lift it up a little bit and then you'll feel it like get really solid, hopefully. And then just keep lifting it up to that point where it stops being engaged. Okay. So for me, that's actually right about right there and then slowly come on down. Very nice. Let's do the other side now. So lift up on that leg. Very nice. And then slowly come on down. And then come on up. Very good. And then come on down. The, one of the things that you want to work on is slow movement and then engage and then come on up. And then come on down. This time, if you want to bring your hand onto your thigh, friends, you're probably wondering why we just did those last three practices in our front body, because that's where so much of the stability comes from for the back. As we bend forward, if these muscles aren't engaging properly, it's going to put strain on our lower back. But for our finale, we're going to be doing a back strengthening one. And this is like one of the best things you can do. This is chocolate cake for your back. So coming down here, you're going to lie down and then just lift your legs up and your chest up as high as you can. And then come on down. And then come on up. Very good. Now, just work on lifting the legs up as high as you can, as well as the chest. And you're going to feel all these back muscles really working here. This is activating all of your back muscles in a really positive way. All right, friends, wasn't that just amazing? Lower back pain can be tough, but sometimes small changes in your routine can make a big difference. And remember to get these muscles activated. Stay active, 
stay positive and keep moving forward. I hope that you found something simple that helps ease your lower back pain. If you did find this useful, drop it in the comment section below. And please remember to like, subscribe, and share for more tips on staying healthy.